don't even know what this vlog is. Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. As you might be able to tell, I did not fill my eyebrows in because I am on my way to go get my eyebrows tinted. I'm all finished getting my brows done. Here is the final product, you guys. I am literally obsessed. If this didn't make me want to get my freaking eyebrows microbladed, I don't know what will. Like seriously, she told me that it would pretty much look like this, but with the microblading, obviously she can do like the brush-like stroke, so she'll be able to bring my brow a little bit inwards more and then fill this in a lot more because this is like the part of my eyebrows you can see where like the shading is that's like not hair so she would be able to make like hair like strokes because I have a lot of like I don't want to say hair loss it's just like not very full right in there and then also like along here on my eyebrows but I really like them she did say they're a little darker than what they will be they'll lighten up probably by tomorrow um, but Overall, I'm so happy. I also just grabbed a coffee and my next stop is going to be to go get my nails done. I took a break from my acrylics and I just want them back. So we're gonna go do it. It's hot girl summer now, so I have to have my clothes back. Okay, it's almost 11 now. I just got out of the nail salon. You guys, I am literally obsessed with my nails. Talk about aesthetic. I mean, hello, beautiful. I'm so obsessed. I was gonna do a bunch of different colors and then I just decided to go with this really pretty blue color. And then of course I did a design and I have long nails again. So I'm just like getting my personality back. <laughs> Thinking about finally buying a new Apple Pencil. I can't remember if I told you guys, but I haven't been able to use my iPad for literally probably over a month. I would say like five weeks or something because my Apple Pencil broke, the tip of it broke. And I don't even know what I did with my Apple Pencil, but I haven't been able to use my iPad. And you guys know, like I have my digital planner on my iPad and I use my iPad a lot and I haven't been able to use it in over a month and it has been stressing me out, but I was trying to like not just buy another Apple Pencil. I was gonna see if uh, Apple could fix it. So I contacted the Apple support and they said that the only option was a replacement, but I'm outside of my yearly window for them to do anything about it. So of course I have to replace it myself. Here's my Apple Pencil. Here's the tip of my Apple Pencil. <laughs> so I thought I would try to save a little bit of money and I would buy a new tip because the tip was getting worn down because I use a paper-like screen protector on my iPad. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy, you know, some tips on Amazon. They had really good reviews. I didn't think anything of it. I buy everything on Amazon and I screwed it on there and I used it like once and it worked fine. And then uh, I went to go use it again and it literally just like snapped. I was not pushing hard or anything, literally just writing and it just snapped off. And I was like, oh, whatever. I'll just, you know, unscrew the thing. But it snapped off internally, so my Apple Pencil's destroyed and Apple confirmed that they can't fix this. So, because it's like the internal part of the pencil that broke, not just the tip. Um, so that really does suck. Got myself another bowl of cherries because I'm just addicted. Good morning guys, happy Monday. I don't even know what this vlog is. It was supposed to be a weekend vlog, which obviously started on Friday. And then I vlogged absolutely nothing over the weekend. And now it's Monday and I didn't have enough vlog footage, but I still want you guys to see the process of getting my eyebrows tinted. And I think that was really the only exciting thing that I did on Friday. So I'm gonna just add to the vlog, even though it's kind of out of order, so. 
here we are at the gym about to go and work out upper body today because it's Monday. Okay guys, I just got finished and still out of breath. I finished my, well today was like upper body and I finished my workout doing pull-ups, but I lessened the amount of assisted weight that it helps you with, so it was harder for me today, but I'm really proud of myself. I lied about going straight home. I'm at Dunkin' in the drive through because it's like right by the gym I go to, and there's not a Starbucks over here, and I told you guys I've been liking Dunkin's blueberry coffee, like I've just been on a kick with it, kind of, and so I figured why not, because I'm going to go home and be straight to work, and I'm going to go to the post office later, which is usually when I do my coffee run, but I kind of feel like I want a coffee right away you know, rather than wait till I get a caffeine headache, so. Anyways, I want to give you guys a little update on my tattoo situation. It is significantly lighter this time around, um, but it's like got this blue tinge to it, which is really weird. So if any of you guys have ever had a tattoo removed, let me know if the pigment in it kind of changed because it was always just black ink. And even though on here it probably looks black, I swear to you in the lighting, it has like a blue tinge to it. It's so weird. Back home, got my coffee and I'm going to make muesli for breakfast. I haven't made this in a while and Chad and I haven't gone grocery shopping. So it's literally not nothing else for me to eat. Normally I would do oatmeal, but I won't even have any fruit to add. So we're gonna do this without my blueberries. I usually put blueberries, but I don't have any. Just finished crimping my hair. It's always a bit wild after I finish crimping it. Actually, it doesn't look that bad, but it's always a little bit wild and then it looks better like the next day. Um, but Chad was nice enough to bring me home at Chick-fil-A. He had to go to like a work meeting this morning for a hazmat class that he's teaching for work and on his way home, he brought Chick-fil-A. And I ordered fries cause I just really wanted them, you know, you gotta live a little. And then of course my chicken cool wrap with ranch and a Diet Coke. Way later now, we are grocery shopping and we had to run into Walmart and now we are heading to Sprouts to do the rest of our grocery shopping. As it's so much later, but look at the beaded necklace I just made. I also made a little smiley face bracelet. I bought this organizer for all of my beads at Walmart and I'm so happy about it because it's just very pleasing to have everything organized. And then I have this one over here, which is not as aesthetic to look at because there's like random beads mixed in, but you know, it's just so much fun. I'm literally obsessed with making these beaded things. Probably a little bit overkill at this point, but I'm having fun with it. And I find it like really therapeutic to just sit here and be in my thoughts and just make beaded bracelets. I feel like it's the same kind of thing. Like it's comparable to adult coloring books, just peaceful. At this point, I don't even know what to call this vlog. It's so all over the place. The title of this is probably going to be random vlog. Random days in my life that do not even go in order. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I can't seem to vlog a full day, but you know, here we are. Maybe I need to do a week in my life, which I haven't done in forever, and some of you guys prefer those. But I just like to upload more consistently, which is why generally I don't do week in my life, because then it would be only one vlog that week, but... I don't know. I obviously need to do something because this vlog is just literally all over. Let's see what my workout is today. Back and core. All finished. It was a really good workout. I know I say that every time because I'm just like glad I went. Any workout is a good workout. Just keep that in mind. Like just going to the gym, even if it's not your best day, it was better than doing nothing. But today really was like really good. In fact, I'm curious what my stats are for back and core my workout was just over an hour i burned 359 active calories 430 total with an average heart rate of 137 and my heart rate got up to 174. damn proud of that
breakfast and I'm also gonna work on finishing these bead necklaces that I'm making right now so that I can sell them. I'm so excited with how these are coming along, guys. I have like a little assembly line going. So I wanna make them all the same so that way, like there's no variation. You see the picture of what you're buying online, then you know like that's what you're getting. Um, so here's like an example one that I made. Got my yogurt parfait and I've been adding chocolate sauce to my iced coffee. This is just the Starbucks like medium roast with some cream in it and then a little bit of Hershey's chocolate syrup and I swear it's so good. I always have to switch up my coffee or I just get bored of it whenever I make it at home. So this has been how I've been doing it and it just tastes like a mocha iced coffee, it's so good. It's a bit later now and I'm about to work on my office now and I thought I would kind of show you guys what I'm doing even though I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Chad just recently redid his office, like just kind of reorganized things and rearranged it. And of course, knowing me, if you've been here for a while, I never stick with the same layout for too long. I just get tired of it and then I wanna rearrange. But I think this is the longest I have ever left my office the way it is. And I'm not gonna remove my wallpaper or anything like too drastic, but I just wanna rearrange the furniture around a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna work on. And then this little cart thing that I use for my business has all this stuff on it. I actually ordered another one of these on Amazon, so I'm also gonna build that. So the first step is going to be to make a little blueprint because my office is such a small little space that if I do not do this, it will end in disaster. So it's basically like a square. And I have my door to enter the office right here. And then there's a tiny bit of space and then my closet, which is not going to change because that's all inventory. And then over here, I have the window. And then this is my space that I have to work with. So right now my desk kind of sticks out. It's an L-shaped desk in the middle of the room. So what I think I'm gonna do is move it from being this sort of an L to this sort of an L. So this, is going to be my desk now. My mirror is currently next to my window and I think I wanna move it over here. So this is going to be my giant mirror. And then I'm thinking about my vanities right here. Maybe just putting, like I can switch to my other smaller little side table desk thingy and use that possibly. Or I might just leave the vanity where it is and just literally do the desk swap. But it could go here or here. So I guess we'll just start with that and see where it goes. <laughs> Here's the new setup. We have my mirror right here and then over here is my desk. So I just switched the L shape like that. And then I moved that was over here, my little clothing rack thingy. And then I switched my vanity to over here. So this is like the new layout. And I also picked up the boxes of inventory and put them away that were on the floor right there. So it's just a nice open layout again. And now I just wanna find another rug that doesn't shed like my last one to put under my chair over there. We are gonna build this really quick though because if I just leave it sitting here in this box, it'll stay forever in the box and I really need to build it. So I'm gonna force myself to do it. <laughs> 